What's going on guys? Welcome to your 22nd Java game applet tutorial and uh, just before we get started I know our code's getting kind of lengthy right now and you guys are probably asking for the source code actually I know a few people are but I'm not going to release the source code until we're done with the game which should be within like a week or two from right now um, because Otherwise, I'll just have to keep updating it and uh, and all that stuff. So if you guys are watching this video and it's two weeks past when I posted it, most likely it'll be available on mybringback.com and then under the tutorial section where the game development tutorial should be. Um, again, we're still kind of working with the organization of the website, so uh, it should be under the tutorial section. Anyways, let's jump into today's tutorial. We're going to set up some new objects and... Uh, new little menu items here so it's gonna be pretty quick let's create a new menu item and we'll call this one grab down and there could have been a better way that we could have coded all this so we don't have a different class for each one but uh, you know for beginning uh, Java game game tutorials this isn't too bad so uh, let's get a grab down let's get a agility um, agil agility Agility. Oh man, we're just gonna go with an abbreviation. I don't even know if that's the right abbreviation. Agile up and uh, agile down as well. So we'll create a new class. Agile down. All right. So we have a few other items we can set up. Um, let's go to our gravity up that we already have defined. We're just gonna copy everything and paste it for gravity down. Go a little bit quick here. Um, and change this obviously to be gravity down instead of gravity up and the next thing that we have to do change our constructor to be gravity down um, we also want to check before we subtract our gravity making it easier um, for the player if you know our gravity isn't equal to be zero because if there's zero gravity our balls never gonna come back down Newton would be all confused you'd be like what's up with this apple it's just uh, not doing anything that's crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if say b dot get gravity. Whoops, not get g. Oh man, that's crazy. All right, get gravity. All right, if that is uh, or we'll, we'll say if that's greater than a gravity set at three, um, then we will you know execute this gravity where we subtract some gravity, make it easier for a player, and. Um, you know, we might change these around in the future. Um, so that way, if we have a gravity, if it's greater than three, we're going to subtract it. And then we're going to throw an if statement within our if statement, again saying if uh, b dot gravity um, is less than three. And what we're going to do here is just set our gravity um, to ba back equal to three. So um, the lowest our gravity will get will be a gravity of three. So we'll say, whoops, b dot set gravity uh, to three. All right. So hopefully you guys kind of understood what we did there. All we're doing is within this action perform, we're going to say, hey, is the gravity you know greater than three? If it is, then we're going to subtract some gravity. Um, and after we subtract that gravity, is the gravity less than three? If it is, we're going to be like, okay, we're going to just set the gravity to be three. Um, so it's never going to be set equal to like one or anything like that. And uh, there we go. We have our gravity down item uh, set up. And this is a good item uh, that we want. So we might change this to be green for now. Eventually we're going to get into creating our own graphics, not just these default, you know, crappy graphics that we got going on here. So we have that set up. Um, let's copy this or whatever and we'll uh, go into our agility Oh, and before we get into our agility, we're actually going to have to set up our ball, um, or set up a agility object within our ball class. So go into the ball class, and we're just going to set up another private variable, private int agility. That's how you spell it. I knew I knew there was something crazy like that. We're going to set our agility up, and we're also going to set up another variable. And we're gonna call this int max max speed. Um, so we'll set up two new variables, and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna set up our agility to be one to start out with, or actually let's try three, and our max speed to be twenty. All right. 
Now, we haven't really set up these variables, but we've used them. Um, not their variable names, but we've already used them. So we're going to go down to where we move left and right uh, with our keyboard. And right here we have this move left. Um, and again, we have our DX speed minus one. But what we're going to do instead is we're going to move by a factor of agility. So right now it'll be minus three instead of minus one. So we'll have a little bit more of a handle on our agility. Um, if you if you know what I'm talking about, instead of just saying one, uh, we want our player to like move the ball quick out of the way or land on a different platform if they need to. So that's what the agility is going to stand for. And also we're just going to say uh, agility here. And there we go. Um, so make sure you get those set up. And just copy that, paste it. And also for our 20 here, we're going to change that to be max speed. So we're going to say max speed. And that way we can kind of factor in some different things um, for fast, how fast we want our ball to go and how quick or how agile we want the ball to be. So we're going to say uh, a factor of negative or minus uh, max speed as well. All right, so all we did is we just kind of transferred some numbers into actually variable types, and we have those variable types set up here. Um, what we want to do is add our getters and setters now for agility and max speed. So I'm just going to quickly right click, go to source, getter and setters, generate getter and setters, and we're going to say max speed, and also we want agility up here. So save that. And there we go, we have our getters and setters somewhere within this class. We're just going to trust that Eclipse set it up for us. Um, so we're going to save that. Now let's go into our gravity or gravity up. I'm going to copy that again. Paste, paste. And then we're going to change this to agile up and uh, agile up as well. Um, so we could have, you know, like I said, we could have saved. A lot of code um, setting up this game differently but you know as for now it's cool don't worry and oh actually we're in the agile down class so that's why it's giving us an error so you know change it to whatever your class name is and let's go in here and we're gonna say b dot uh, set agility and we're gonna set the agility to our b dot uh, get agility again we're subtracting so we're gonna subtract one from our agility and again we probably want to add an if statement because we don't want a negative agility that'd be crazy uh, making the ball go the opposite direction and then we push so we're going to set up an if statement if b dot get agility greater than or equal to two um, we are going to subtract we're going to subtract so if it's greater than or equal to two, all we're going to do is we're going to subtract one agility point um, from their current agility. And if it's you know at two, we'll be able to subtract it down to one. But if it's at one, it will never change our agility back up. Get that? So again, that's kind of a red object. We probably want to keep that as red. And I'm going to copy all this and go to the agility up here and paste it and also change you know everything so you know that's good to go and then what we're going to do is we're going to say it changes to a plus one instead of minus one and you know we don't even need an if statement because it could go up to as quick as we want actually let's set up an if statement i will say if it's um, if our current agility is less than uh, like Eight, something like that so there we go we have our agility up item set up um, kind of with a certain parameter here and uh, we are good to go we probably want to change this one to be a green object and there we go so we haven't really incorporated these items yet into our game we'll get into that in the next tutorial making a random item appear um, but you know, that's kind of how you're going to set up your items uh, for this game in particular. Um, so, you know, uh, there you go.